Your Excellency, Secretary General of the United Nations, Antonio Guterres, ladies and gentlemen, dear members of the Veraces Visions community, I welcome you to the Veraces Extraordinary Meeting. Extraordinary times demand extraordinary transformation. This meeting, ladies and gentlemen, gathers 1,000 of the most senior members of the Veraces Visions community to overcome the profound economic, political, and social disruptions caused by COVID-19. With the Veraces Extraordinary Meeting, we propose to the world to unite, inspire, and create. And we offer the conceptual backbone and action platform to advance the recovery, envisioning and implementing novel business models, new political cooperation, and deep social cohesion. We are convinced that the world will not go back to a new normal using a simplistic resetting of legacy systems. We need to unite global stakeholders to inspire in order to create original and innovative solutions in the face of continuous turbulence. Ladies and gentlemen, it is now my great pleasure to call on His Excellency Antonio Guterres, the Secretary General of the United Nations. Antonio Guterres is a real change maker, leading the United Nations and the world through turbulent times. We at Horace support the United Nations in its call for multilateralism, collective creativity, and a new social contract for the post COVID area. Mr. Secretary Chow, the floor is yours. It is a pleasure to greet the renowned Oasis Forum. As the world confronts the COVID-19 pandemic, I welcome your focus on overcoming the extreme disruptions it has caused. The virus is the greatest global test since the foundation of the United Nations. It has devastated lives, economies, and communities everywhere and undermined our efforts to achieve the Sustainable Development Goals. The United Nations continues to push for a massive rescue package for the world's most vulnerable people and countries and for a vaccine that is affordable and available to all, a people's vaccine. We are also pressing for a global ceasefire to focus on our common enemy, the virus. The pandemic also exacerbated many long-standing inequalities and exposed global fragilities more general. COVID-19 is not only a wake-up call, it is a dress rehearsal for the world of challenges to come, climate change above all. As countries rebuild and reset their economies, we must accelerate the transition to renewable energy and achieve net zero emissions by 2050. Against this backdrop, the United Nations this year commemorates its 75th anniversary and the visionary steps taken by world leaders to recover from a calamitous global war. Today, we face another foundational moment. I look forward to working with all partners to build a future of peace, dignity and sustainable development for all on a healthy planet. Please accept my best wishes for a successful forum. Mr. Secretary General, thank you very much for your enlightening words. As you said, the problems we are currently facing are global, but the responses are fragmented. Multilateralism is a way to go, but we need to include into the multilateral system the voice and the influence of the business community and the civil society and all those other stakeholders that are essential to shape the future of the world. I now invite you to attend the opening plenary. Thank you very much.